What's up, buddy? Right, I gotta figure out how to get in here. Nice jet ski, right? Is that Archie right there? Yeah, yeah we'll get you on here. All right, everyone, Cameron Brait. What's up, guys? Box have scored another. It's Cameron Brait with a touchdown grab. I'd give you our secret Harvard handshake, but, you know, yeah. COVID and everything, we won't do that. Yeah, there. There's Archie. Everyone loves seeing the puppies. I can't see if we got... There we go. That's a better. He's a little freaked out right now, but... Last, of the water. last time I saw you, you were on your bike and... You were on your blades. I was on my blades and you had Archie on a... What was it? Like a little basket? Yeah, a little basket in the front. Uh, what was it called? That it was, was the, like a puppy ri or buddy rider. Look at them too. All right, what that's awesome. What a one-man show though for all the people. I thought there'd be, you know, a trailing little uh, jet ski with the camera. It's just Alex out just here. Just me, literally. I actually have... Today I hired someone to, to make sure... The next guests are in place because it's kind of dicey today. Brady and then Gronk coming to town. I know everyone's really excited about uh, about that. Everyone's excited about the Bucks. So yeah, maybe right. just talk about that a little bit before we get into the fan questions. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, I really didn't think, uh, you know, I'd seen like the rumors before about Brady, but I just didn't imagine that he'd actually end up down here. So, um, I mean, he's a guy, you know, me and Alex being uh, in college up there in the Northeast that, we, you know, I followed pretty closely. Yeah. Um, kind of always looked up to him and the way he kind of prepared and took care of his body. So to actually be able to play with him is, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty unreal. So looking forward to that. And then obviously uh, with Gronk here too, um, I mean, he's a guy that uh, arguably the, the best tight end of all time. And, um, you know, just thrilled to be able to, to learn some things from him. And he seems like he's a pretty good time from a couple <laughs> of the phone calls I've had with him. So... Yeah, it should, it should be all good. We're looking forward to it, and hopefully we can, uh, you know, return to normal here pretty soon and uh, start playing some football. Do you, oh, yeah, do you ever go to Bolts games? Yeah. My, my good friend Alex here, he, uh, I'll shoot him a text probably, like, three hours before puck drops, and, uh, yeah, he'll, uh, he'll always come through for me. So, yeah, I mean, hockey games are way more fun to go to than football games I, I don't understand why people go to football games it's so hot out there in tampa like if i was a fan i would just watch it from home but uh bolts games are awesome yeah like super super energetic uh they do a great job with all like the the in-game like music the lightning in the uh up in the stands you know what i'm talking about when they, they have yeah. the balls with the bolts yeah that's pretty exciting so yeah i love going to bolts games yeah, that's great stuff. I tell Cam he could text me, you know, an hour, two hours before, but when that Monday night game comes, just expect a text from back from me. That's fair. Uh, that's fair. All right, one last question. What, how do you feel? How would you feel about playing with no fans in the stadium? Um, yeah, I'd be fine. I'd be fine with it. Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, I've always played in front of fans at Harvard, not too many, so I'm kind of <laughs> used to it. But uh, he'll be the best player. Yeah. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I mean, that's definitely, you know, a possibility with the way things are going. And, um, you know, if it, if it has to be that way for, for public safety, then so be it. Um, you know, it still should be uh, an exciting season. Like I said, you know, games are probably more fun to watch on TV anyway. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, it would be different, but we get used to it after the first, first game or two. And, uh, yeah, I, I mean, hopefully just things go back to normal so we don't have to worry about that. Really not selling the in-game experience for fans, so but uh, we I appreciate it. Didn't your high. schedule just come out? Uh, it's coming out tonight. It's coming out tonight. Okay, I so like... I do have some inside info, too. Okay. I was golfing today, that's why I'm late, with Charles Woodson. Oh, wow, look at you. Yeah, and he told me you guys were opening up the season against New Orleans Saints. Yeah, that's what, word on the street. Yeah. In, uh, in in New Orleans. Orleans. So you guys hear, heard it here first. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm saying a lot of things I probably shouldn't be saying, but whatever. Right, Who first. cares? Um, let's let's get to the gifts now before okay. we leave. Here, here's your Doc Talk shirt. Oh, I appreciate Here, it. Yeah, let's make sure we can get that. Is that. Make sure that's an XXL. Yeah, pretty big guy over here, 2X. Actually, Alex, I, uh, I brought you a couple of gifts as well. Wow. Uh, you want to be the first guest, you know. Only, to, uh, only a Harvard guy would reciprocate the gifts. I you love know, it, man. Let's see. Come support the Bucks. What size do you wear? Oh, Whatever size this is. Look XL, at this. you look like an XL. I'm an XL pretty guy. Diesel guy. Look at this. That's a great shirt, man. And then, you know, a really exclusive, this is a primetime item, a Cambrai 
souvenir cup. I don't think I'll drink a drink not out of this you cup. You gotta get that framed. This is awesome, man. You know what? I had a feeling you were gonna bring some gifts, and you and I was right. But my last gift is just a contact card, and if you want to slide that into, uh, you know, Tom oh, Brady style. If, if I mean, yeah. you're gonna be in the same locker room. I know he he's really rearing to get out on Doc Talk, so just throw that in there, and then yeah, you never know what LBC happens. And, uh, Maybe I'm seeing him tomorrow. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Another virtual workout? That's right. All right. Hey, Cam, really appreciate it, man. A pleasure, man. Have that was out. fun. Yeah. Good luck. See you later, Archie. See you guys. See you later. Class act. I'm going to be expecting gifts from all my fans now. I mean fans, guests. What? Here we go. What's up, Bassy bud? Look who we got, everyone. Bassy, you have trendy sunglasses on. I'm not surprised. I love it. Nice hat. You want to give a shout out to your hat? Thanks for coming on the show. Let's get. Oh yeah. wow. I love you, eh? Oh yeah, it's so here. I'm, I'm here, here too. too. I'm here too. Sergey, Michael, Sergey, Sergey, nice right. hat, bud. Thank All you. right, let's get right into it, man. Um, tell the fans they want to know what you've been doing during quarantine. Uh, what I've been doing yeah. all these days. These days, uh, but nothing much, you know. Have to stay at home. Yeah. Gotta follow the rules, but <laughs> <laughs> can't leave the house. <laughs> what, what are you doing right now, then? Uh, how'd, how'd you get out of the house? Well, quarantine is over, right? Yeah, uh, you're right. It can't, but it is over. So, thank God, I guess. And uh, <laughs> oh, when the went fishing, fishing a few times, nice. and uh, what else? Uh, I've same, been uh, rollerblading too, I'm yeah. quite sure. Yeah, you're working out? Sure, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, I was working out for sure. Yeah, I just say you're working out, just let them know. So, yeah. Sure, sure it's optional on the rollerblades? Uh, <laughs> like a tank, tank top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So everyone sure. can see my arms. Yeah, uh, like that. What else? Uh, just, uh, oh, yeah. simple stuff, just stay at home the whole time. Whatever you're doing, helping. it's working, man. Nice. Okay, who's the funniest guy in the locker room? Uh, after, after, after yourself. After myself. <laughs> I think Sergey is pretty good. Oh, Sergey? No. Actually, Sergey's, you're, you're pretty no, good. No, no, not me either. Yeah, no, no, I, will say, I will say, I will say, Bassy is probably the funniest guy. In the, I will say you're the funniest guy in the locker room. You don't agree? His humor is kind of dark, you know. It's very, it's very dark humor, but once you get to know him and you've understood, you've, you're... Like salty, salty, salty humor. <laughs> but your language is much better now, so it's it's you're yeah, hilarious. You can, you know, okay, this is a good. Made it to Doc Talk. You made it to Doc <laughs> Talk. You were the most requested guy. Um, what is your favorite save of all time? I, I you know what? I'll say one, and you could say one. Okay, sure. I took a penalty against LA, the Kings, and okay. yeah, we were on the yeah. we were on yeah, the PK, bye. and I knew if I if we got scored on, Cooper was gonna probably trade me. And you made that save behind the back on Kopitar, yeah. Yeah. and uh, I saw it from the best angle. So thanks, yeah. thanks for that. Do you have yeah, any? I would, I would say that. Is that your favorite? That the no, how about one? the KHL or Rookie of the Year, or whatever? Oh yeah, I got the uh, best save year. of the year in KHL. My well, that was my last year what, in KHL. What kind of save was it? Uh, I don't know. I was uh, I was actually my last game. Really? In, in uh, KHL too. The Lightning saw that and they signed you right away. Huh? Yeah. Oh, not. <laughs> yeah, whatever. You get it. Um, your dad is also hilarious. I don't know if we want to talk about your dad. He's one of the funniest guys I've ever met. We might show some pictures of us having dinner with your dad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay, so here's another good question. Um, who Who's the toughest player to, that you face, like shot-wise or something like that in the NHL? Like guys that you hate, hate to... Probably all Sure. Ovi. He's shot, yeah. He's... Okay, people are saying favorite place to eat. What's to let? No, let's talk about the place you brought me and Pat Maroon in, well, Washington, in Washington, and yeah. then in, the one in New York. In New York, so I'll say he brought we Cooch, Cooch, Sergey, yeah, yeah. Cooch, Sergey, and Vassy brought us to a Russian restaurant. It was one of the best times I've ever had. We had like beef tongue. A little bit of vodka, yeah, but talk here. Talk about the restaurant quick. All right, see you, killer. Huh? Let's see. 
<laughs> Woo! All right, here. Okay, I got your phone. Did you talk? Wow, well, what talk? an honor to hold it. It's been through a lot. <laughs> well, I guess. Uh, the rest of yeah, that was uh, just a... Marijuana. Marijuana, regular Russian cuisine. What, so, uh, what were some good dishes? Like, was the beef tongue? Like, uh, beef tongue, uh, horseradish. Herring, hener, herring under the fur. Herring under the what? <laughs> fur. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember that one. Yeah. What was the, the, what was the soup? soup? That was a uh, borscht. Borscht. So it was like a uh, red beet. That was good. Yeah, that, that was pretty good. good. So, bunch of dumplings. Uh, what else? Bunch uh, of bread, you know, remember? Bunch you of bread, yeah. A lot of bread. You, you know, know what? what? We were talking. Yeah, you guys are making fun of me for eating bread. Sorry for eating the food that they gave us. Um, so, and uh, some healthy drinks, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's not like we had a game the next day or anything. No, 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 so, for sure. Really, no, it was fine. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, here's your phone, huh? That was good. Now the sun's the wrong way. Thanks for coming on. I got a gift for you. Oh, all right. You might, I might, You. I think you're going to have to try it on oh, to, make, uh, to make sure it fits. Uh, that's funny. <laughs> I know you lost your other one, so I wanted to make sure that uh, you had it. <laughs> it actually looks that. sick, buddy. You like it? Yeah, it looks good. Good job, Killer. All right, guys. Yeah, thank you, Killer. You guys going to go right. fishing? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, the, me and uh, my best friend, Kurgan, and he's uh, Uber, as you do. We're, all, we're like the three best friends, right? All three of us? Yeah. So, <laughs> so uh, one. Come, all three of us. Bring it in. One. No, 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 no. Nice. Um, Best not, friends. Not, not awkward at all. So. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that looks sick. Really all right. I got to run. I'm 10 minutes yeah. late. Kevin Kiermeyer, everyone. How are we doing? Yo. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah. Appreciate it. Beautiful evening. What, wow. have you been, what have you been up to during quarantine? You can just, I don't know if you want to grab yeah. it or whatever. Man, just run around my wild little 17 month old son yeah. trying to do as much baseball activity as I can. Make yeah. sure I actually do. We're right across from Emily right now, and there's a big grassy area where I do all my sprints there. Nice. I ride my scooter over there. I do my sprints, try to throw, hit, keep my uh, just my obliques and everything in shape. So whenever yeah. we are asked to do stuff again, that my body, all those muscles are ready because it's hard to get those going again. But uh, for the most part, just trying to keep my sanity <laughs> down here. It's been It's been tough at times, obviously. We just all want life to go back to normal i wish i was watching this guy make a <laughs> crazy playoff push right now or uh you know in the playoffs i should say and uh, i wish i was playing but so i'll give you another quick question as we're on the topic um third gold glove yeah you won this past year yeah impressive very impressive i know you beat out trout for that yeah um maybe talk about that and and the playoffs you guys had last year i know yeah. for us being um huge tampa fans following you guys to see how well you guys did last year that was awesome um, you know, we, I guess as athletes, we always root for each other out yeah. here and we were following you guys hoping for the best. So we were yeah. really proud of you guys. If you could just talk about yeah. the gold, third gold glove yeah. and then the playoffs last year. It was great. Yeah. Well, well, thank you. We're, we're big fans of you as well. And I, I have the luxury of living this close to your guys yeah. place. So it's nice where I can just walk over and catch as many games as possible. But, um, yeah, the third gold glove, that was great. Um, that's a that's an I don't know how the hockey awards um, work. What um, you know what is more special to other guys? I'm sure MVPs and all that. But for me, defense no, is special, defense is my bread and butter, and that's where I feel like I can separate myself from the rest of the league. So to be honored with the top award, um, you know, meant the world for me. It was great, and I know everyone's hungry uh, coming into this year, and yeah. and you could tell that before everything got shut down, but. Um, I'm in the same boat as you, man. We when when you guys are in the playoffs every year, it seems like we're always after our games get done, we're always running the clubhouse, and your guys' games are still going usually. And we just had Cam Braid on. He was talking to us about uh, Tom Brady, so I know we're all. He's a Harvard guy too, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, for all you viewers out there, I'm way smarter than both of these <laughs> Harvard guys. I went to junior college, and I'm way I could kill these guys in jeopardy. Definitely. <laughs> I was going to take some fan questions, but I have another question okay. for you because I remember we came, we did, uh, we did BP yep. with you guys a couple of years ago yep. and we came into the locker room and, and for me it was crazy because you guys were so chilled and relaxed because, and then I, I figured it's because you guys play so many games. Yep. Like I don't even think we'd let people into our locker room before a yeah. game. So 
maybe talk about the different dynamics. I mean, you guys play so many games. Yeah. What's the dynamic like before a game? How early do you get there? Like, what's going on? Yeah, that's a, that's a great question. I, I always wonder what other sports do as well because I see you guys, hockey players, are always kicking around a soccer hockey ball. ball. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. see you guys playing hacky sack. I go on the – I've had a couple tours, and that's what they're all doing. So it's funny to see how they get ready for a game and amped up. And, yeah, for us, we play, you know – 30-some games in spring training, 162 uh, games in 183 days, and then, um, you know, playoffs. But we're very relaxed, and there's that's just – that's baseball how it is, and I think that that's most teams where obviously there's some days where um, you, know, you do a, a full stretch throw, batting practice, work, do stuff as a team, but then there's other days where we call show-and-goes where you just show up yeah. super late. We'll show up at 4 o'clock, eat kind of get moving around a little bit, go take some hacks in the cages and get ready for a 7 o'clock game. So. Who is the funniest guy on your team? Oh, funniest guy on the team. Um, G-Man Choi, Korean dude. He is just hilarious. They're he is so, funny, he is so funny. He gets it. He speaks just as much Spanish as his English. Oh. And it's just so funny to, to hear him say certain words because uh, – He's just fine. The fans love him. He puts on a show. He's hit a couple walk-off homers in the last couple of years, and <laughs> his celebrations before he hits home plate are hilarious. He just looks like a – G-Man might not appreciate me saying this, but he just looks like a cute, fat little baby <laughs> trapped in a 28-year-old's body. I love him. He's great for the team, always keeping everyone happy. And uh, so, yeah, G-Man Choi, definitely. Thank you for coming on the yeah, show. No Three-time uh, Gold Glove winner. We're hoping for the best for you guys next season. I'm really proud of you um, as athletes around Tampa for everything you're doing. And I did bring you some gifts. Okay. As always, my last, my first guest actually gave me a gift, but it's not a wow. big deal. Here's Just your doc. in the bar high. <laughs> Here's wow. your Here doc we talk shirt. We'll there get we you go. on there. Time to rep that. Doc talk. I know it was your birthday recently. Ooh. So my boy coming up clutch with the Camus. I know it's your birthday, so yes, you know sir. you didn't get to celebrate. I'm sure the way you wanted to. Enjoy yes. that with the fam. My man. Um, hey, I said that the other day. I said I'm I'm aging just like a nice bottle of wine <laughs> as well. So me and this bottle got a lot more in common than everyone thinks. So I appreciate that. Thanks, I'm gonna try man. to now. I got a scooter ride, about a mile scooter ride home with this. So oh God, good luck, man. Don't judge me. It's all good. Don't no. worry. Hey, appreciate you, man. Thank you. All right, thanks, my See man. See you later, bud. All right. I want to say thanks to everyone who tuned in. Apologies to Tyler Johnson. We tried to get you on the show. We just ran out of time again. Um, thanks, guys, again. That was fun.